here in Deland on Monday. It's about 10 o'clock. Uh, giving the third and final update on Hurricane Irma. In update number two, I reported that we were low on food. I'm happy to report that we found more and my loved ones were apparently hiding it from me. Um, I want to give you an idea of what the effects of our Category 4 hurricane are. Wait, 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 no, it was a Category 1. Category 1, what? No, 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 they said Category 4. No, all that's up through the middle of the state. For sure, Category 1. Okay. Well, you get to see the effects. There definitely was wind. I'll give them that. Uh, we had some tree limbs or pieces of tree fall down, as you can see here. And uh, it was really dark last night, so I didn't get to see the nine foot storm surge that they were talking about. Um, it probably came up over the roof and, uh, and then went back down before morning. Uh, I did notice some of the sandbags were a lot looser in the tying from the time that I actually put them down. And uh, I did hear a report of a neighbor with 30 cases of water falling on falling over falling on them so and now they're selling those cases uh, they were they had bought them for about thirty dollars a case they're selling them for three dollars um, so that's about it from here in the land I am sorry for all the people that did experience some type of damage uh, right now uh, I need to go inside and have a uh, mandatory evacuation